Hi there, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another quick Android tutorial today on how to get Silk. All right, guys, Silk's a little bit frustrating because it has so many different steps to it. All right, the first of which you have to find mulberry trees. Now, if you go to your map, you'll see that I am in the southernmost quarter of the map, and that is because that mulberry trees only spawn in the southernmost quarter of the map. All right, now. If you're in the north part, so up near the lake or even further than that, you have yourself a bit of a walk, but fortunately you can gather sprouts from it, bring them back to your base and start your own little mulberry farm. The unfortunate part is that each mulberry tree only has one, so you're going to need to gather quite a few mulberry sprouts before you head back to your base. All right, so once you get down to the southern part of the map, you need to spot a mulberry tree and what mulberry trees look like is this, okay? This is right here is an apple tree and it has the same texture as an apple tree, but the th difference is that it goes and then splits into these three different forks right here, okay? So, once you find these trees, they tend to grow in patches like this, and you're gonna have to go and inspect them because you wanna find the best quality trees possible, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead, right click, inspect a tree, and he doesn't go through a crafting animation because this doesn't take any actual effort to do, all right? So this mulberry tree has 83 uh, is a quality of 83 this meaning that it has 25 silkworms and one mulberry tree sprout all right so i'm going to pop up a little chart for you guys real quick okay that shows the quality of the trees so we want to get the highest quality possible because that's going to give us the most silkworms possible and it's going to give us the best quality okay so if we look Quality that is 1 to 32 will provide no silkworms, all right? Quality that is 35 to 69 will provide five silkworms, all right? Quality that is 71 to 100 will provide 25 silkworms, okay? So we want to shoot for, we don't want to shoot for anything that is below 69. Fortunately, however, if we do find one that's close enough to um, 70, we can always take one of our higher sprouts. So I have this sprout that's an 80, or these two sprouts that are 80, and if I had like a 69, I could combine them together and make another one that produces 25 silk. You don't wanna do that too much though, because you don't wanna lower the quality of your high sprouts. For example, this one right here is a quality 100, and I don't wanna combine anything with that, because that will give me the chance to make perfect silk which is an accomplishment in this game. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, collect some silkworms from this tree, then I'm gonna go ahead, collect a sprout from this tree, and then I'm gonna go meet you back at the base, all right? Okay guys, so we're back at the base, and now that we have our, we have our uh, silk worm cocoons, okay? We need to extract the filaments, all right? But before we extract the filaments, we need to make sure that we have procuration unlocked. And how you unlock procuration is you have a coop, you fill it full of animals, put some food in it and you have to wait uh, wait until the dungle meter so if we go ahead and we manage this coop right here up in the bot the top right see that dungle meter once that dungle meter hits 100 or hits above 20 percent we can clean it and that will level up our, pro our animal lore which will unlock procuration all right so make some leather level up your procuration and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on your silk filaments that you want to get the or your um silk cocoons that you want to get the filaments from uh, right click, go to procuration, extract silk filaments, and this doesn't require a tool, your guy just does it with his hands, all right, and we're gonna go ahead and craft. Luckily, he gets one silk, or he gets one um, filament per silk cocoon, so if you have around 100 cocoons, you're gonna be sitting pretty for quite a while, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna extract about five of them, because then we have to head over to the spinning wheel. All right, guys, so now we have a decent amount of silk filaments in our inventory, we have two of them. We're gonna go over to the spinning wheel, okay? which uh, you should have made earlier to help make the linen rope, but a spinning wheel requires some softwood boards, a wheel, which is made to the carpenter's thing, and a metal band. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is silk thread, all right? Um, and you have to have five filaments to make one silk th thread. You're just gonna go ahead, click craft. He's gonna go through an animation doing the crafting for that, all righty? And once he gets through that, you're gonna need I believe 15 of these to make one silk cloth. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make enough of these to make a silk cloth. All right, so if you look at my inside my inventory now, I now have 25 silk threads or hanks of silk, pardon me. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to your loom, which takes bone glue to make, and you're gonna go and make a silk cloth. You're just gonna go ahead, click on it, he's gonna go through a crafting animation, and in a second here, we'll have ourselves a nice silk cloth, which will allow us to make royal uh, clothing and nice bed sheets. 
perfect just like that all right guys so i hope this tutorial was helpful if it was let me know with a like favorite or subscribe all which i appreciate and help me out so much you have no clue anyways thanks for watching guys like favorite subscribe all which helps me out you guys keep being good guys and i will see you in the next one take it easy Hey guys, this has been a quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Futile. If you enjoyed this, then let him know by leaving a like, favorite, subscribe, or commenting and asking what you want in the next tutorial. Anyways, thanks for sticking around guys. Go ahead and check out the actual series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.